Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Today. Just want to mess her up. <laughs> Today is Saturday, November 16th, 2019, week number 50 of our keto journey. 5 0. 5 0. It's the big 5 0. I'll take it. Hawaii 5 0. No. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I ever watched that show, but. Da, 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 da. No. Okay. Never did it. All right. So, um,. Last week, 336.8 for Bill. This week, 335.4 for Bill. So I'm down 1.4 pounds. Um, still not happy with that. Still working on it. Playing with the macros a little. I tried um, Daniela Diaries, I believe is her name. Yeah. She was talking about recently adjusting macros that was really benefiting her and others of where you took your goal weight and you used that for your fat macro. And then you mm -hmm. cut it in half, which was your protein, uh, then just stayed under 20 carbs. Well, I adjusted that last week to try it, and I found it impossible for me personally. I was chugging MCT oil. I was putting Kerry Gold butter in everything. No matter what I did, I couldn't even come close to the fats. I don't know if it's because I'm so big and tall and my goal weight is 240 pounds at six foot six. But I couldn't even touch anywhere near those fat. I would always feel the protein mm -hmm. at 120, which is the way that that was scaled. Yeah. And the 240 for the fats, I couldn't even touch it. I'd be done with protein by like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I'd have nothing else to eat. And I couldn't find anything else that was just fat unless I wanted to eat Kerrygold or guzzle more MCT oil. Yep. And uh, <laughs> I was putting them in my coffee. I was putting them on my eggs. I was putting them on my vegetables. I just could not get enough fats in to follow that kind of a macro. So what I've done is I just went back to the straight old carb managers, keto macros, you know, they get up my proteins a little and down my yeah. fats to a more reasonable number. And I'm going to stick with it for a while. Uh, definitely been having some trouble with my sugars. Um, I... Probably to the point where I might have to go back on my form and I'm going to consult with the doctor again. Uh, it's all over the place. I'll get a 140 or 150 yeah. and then the next day I'll get a 180, 190. I'm not sure if it just takes a couple weeks for my body to adjust to being off of metformin. I don't know if you've seen the videos for that. I can link them above. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not showing up into ketosis. I'm staying way under 20 total carbs, not net carbs, total way under 20. There are days I'm at under 10 yeah. and I'm still not showing up on my keto mojo meter as having any ketosis going on. And I think it's these sugars are messing with me. Yeah. Because my sugar has been really weird. Uh, definitely got some stress. Definitely got some things going on in life in general, some family things and, and uh, money things and a couple other things. So uh, trying to regulate some of that as well. But, uh, you know, it's one step in the journey. And like we said, we're going to report where we're at. <clears throat> so that's where I'm at this week. At least I'm down a little. I'll take the 1.4 down. Let's just keep going and get where I need to get to. Exactly. And for Stacy, I started at 180.2 back on December 1st of 2018. It's been almost a year. Eeks. Yeah. A couple <laughs> weeks. Um Last week I weighed in at 132.4, and this morning I weighed in at 133. So I'm teeter tottering on that six You're where to eight you need ounces. To be. Um, so I'm. You're kind of where you want to be, though. Yeah, you know, within yeah. a few pounds and up and down. Might not be as exciting numbers. It's not. But, but so I'm you're... not gaining 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 yeah. pounds. <laughs> yeah, you're up six ounces this week from last week. Yeah, and I think I was down six ounces. <laughs> yeah, it's, it kinda, you're kind of just there. Right. For me, I got to get my butt going here. Well, I've been downstairs riding the bike. It's a little too cold to go for a bike ride outside, but I've still been coming down That's here and sad. riding. Yeah, still been coming downstairs and riding in the... Uh, the room down here. And it's not that it's just cold. It's icy. It's yucky. Yucky, snowy weather. Michigan weather is kind of yucky right now. For November? For, yeah. Gosh, I don't know. Every year I say, why am I still in Michigan? <laughs> I just want to go like somewhere south, like North Carolina. I just yeah. want to be out of Michigan. I tell you. Ideally, I'd love to be back in North Carolina. 
I really liked it down there. You did, except for that green stuff. Well, the pollen, yeah. <laughs> That's a couple, couple weeks of the year. You're going to have that green pollen dust everywhere. But. Exactly. So I've been working on a broccoli cheddar soup, and I did one. I didn't love the taste of it. So we didn't just, do the video. It needed more, like onion and stuff, which Stacy's like not wanting to put into a soup. And I'm like, no, nah, it needs onion. It needs salt. It needs this. So it was a, a very simple broccoli cheese soup. Um, so obviously, a very simple broccoli cheese soup is not going to be what I want to do because it didn't. No, you taste. want the taste of a restaurant which has onion and salt and other things in it. Why so I had salt in it. But anyway, so I'm still trying to work on that one, and I found a, with Thanksgiving coming up, um, a keto cheese bun. Cheese bun. Okay. Um, and then there's a bread as well. That'd be um, nice if you're going to somebody's house and you want to bring something that yeah. you know is safe to eat, but you don't want to, you know, blow it and right. go start grabbing all their stuff. So you bring the things that you want. Like exactly. your meatballs. I love your meatballs. Oh my God, they're so good. I made a second batch the other day, and I was sad I, didn't I even ate. Get any? <laughs> I ate them all. <laughs> she like sectioned them off with Rayo sauce in these little containers for to take to work. So I felt horrible. I'm like, oh, that's for her lunch. Well, then I go to look, and with what she was eating plus what she was making for her lunches, there were <laughs> none available unless I took a lunch, and I wasn't going to take one of those for you because you already you sectioned have, like, them off. Like four. You taste this. Oh, the, the, yeah. The, the moment she made them, she brought me a little plate of a couple, but then 32 other or, or 28 other ones disappeared because you make 32 in a batch. Yeah. I think I have to make another batch of them. They I think were I'll really have to yummy. steal like eight of them to the side and <laughs> get little, little snap containers that are different colors for Bill. They were really good, though. <laughs> um, we ended up doing I, this is my second batch in about two weeks, if that. Um, Not even two weeks. No, yeah. It really wasn't. Uh, but they're super, super yummy. They freeze very well. Um, and then we use the Rayo's Arborata. Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, that it's a spicy. little spicier. Mm, Good. Right off the bat. Just, I was at work. Just a little kick. And um, warming them up at lunch. And like three people were like, what are you eating? That smells wonderful. I'm like, hmm. and they're my meatballs. That's my meatballs. Somebody was saying, they kept telling me to try teriyaki meatballs. I don't even oh, know I like teriyaki. It, I don't even know that I've ever had teriyaki sauce. There's teriyaki up there in the fridge. Oh. It's, uh, I think it's G. Hughes or one of those um, sugar-free brands. Oh. It's got a little sucralose in it and stuff, but you could get the taste of a teriyaki without the sugar of it, oh. of a normal teriyaki sauce. They were saying that the teriyaki you meatballs know are really good. Take a meatball and do that. But I wouldn't do it with the rails and the teriyaki. It would be a no. weird mix. Yeah. But if you just took a plain meatball in a little teriyaki, you might really be surprised. And if you don't like it, I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's like, well, then I'll get some. I'll get some. And then the, the chili, Stacy made some wonderful chili for me, and I thank you again for that. Um, she's not a chili fan, but I kept telling her I wanted some chili and crackers because it's getting cold, and, you, you know, you just kind of want that comfort food at that yeah. time of year. So, um she made me some chili and crackers, and she kind of tamed it down because I'm I'm a little I like hot things, <laughs> but I don't do well with them. They don't agree with you my stomach, and I sweat sweating. And but um, no, uh, even after she made it, I even said this is a little mild. Go ahead and add the extra that you would have on, on the recipe for normal it's people. Tight. Yeah, so she added the extra things to make it. <laughs> what a normal person would eat of chili instead of a very mild, which I appreciate you thinking of me. Of course. But um, no, we, we ended up adding it in to make it a little more, and it was good. It was good. <laughs> he I had to put it. sour cream and cheese in it to kind of... <laughs> I did put sour cream and cheese on it to kind of, yeah, tame it. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already thinking, about, thinking it. about it. Yeah, getting that delayed reaction. Oh. So we got... Um, Couple of recipes this week, then is that what you're going to work on? That's my goal, and uh, we have read the comments. Um, I forget who it was that said they wanted me to try something with salt vinegar, and vinegar, vinegar, yeah, chicken, salt, with and vinegar. chicken. That would be interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. I have to. Bill's gotten a couple of cookbooks um, from the yeah. library for me, so we'll have to take a peek and see what we can find. Every um, time I'm at the library, I just go right to the cookbooks and I look for the low carb and I look for the uh, even like the Atkins books, I grabbed you an Atkins yeah. book one day, kind of close, just kind of play with something, modify it. And then, of course, keto is the thing at the library right now. So yeah. 
Um, there's probably like 10, 11 books that are new. So I've grabbed her like six, I think, upstairs right now. Yeah. And then if you love a book, we'll just buy it. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think your favorite so far has been Simply Keto. Yeah, there's been quite a few in the Simply Keto book that I've um, picked out that I want to try. If you guys have checked out Simply Keto's cookbook, um, let us know in the comments below what you've made and what you liked. And uh, if not, check that one out for sure. Maybe the library or consider buying it or Barnes & Noble and flip through it for 10 minutes. A um, lot of good stuff. Yeah. I think the reason that Stacy identifies with this book is because <laughs> there's pictures. Yeah, wait a Stacey's minute. Stacy's a picture person. <laughs> I have to say, I'm not a big meat eater at all. Chicken is about... Meatballs. Chicken and, and, and some beef. Um, Sometimes a really good burger will get you. Yeah, yeah. She likes a good but burger. But I saw a, what was it, short ribs? And it it looked really good. Check Costco. So they probably got some ribs that you could buy. Right. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I don't know. It looked pretty good. And it feels like really ribs. And well, it's like I, he's I'm like down okay, for that. let's do it. <laughs> so we'll see. I mean, it, it's it's a longer recipe though. I think it, it's like a twelve hour thing. So it's oh. some. Oh, you're smoking them or yeah, you know, slow cooking them. Yeah. So maybe I don't you know. can even adapt it to a slow cooker. That's you. That's I don't. Possible. I don't, don't really. I, I used a slow cooker for the chili, but. Other than that, Bill's always been the one who's done most of the cooking in the 30 years that we've been together. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I, Except I don't for do, the last 10 months. I don't well, do baking, but I do cooking. You know, I, I'm just not good with baking because I don't measure stuff. I just throw stuff in a pan. And he always says, oh, a little bit more will be better. I'm like, no, no, not with baking. You taste it. You taste it. And then you're like, no. mm, that needs this. Not with baking. You, you no, go no, by the directions. No, you're right. I have tried to bake and I just don't do it <laughs> well. I'll start out really good and I'll have all the great intentions. I'll even get the measuring stuff out, which I don't use. And then after about like the fourth ingredient, I'm like, screw it. Just put the stuff in there. Let's go. Yeah. It's just the way I cook. Cooking, that's okay to a certain extent. But not baking. I still kind of want to get one of those um, Ninja Foodies. We yeah. we originally tried one way back when they first came out. And we ended up having the model that Walmart sold that didn't have the dehydrator built in. And Stacy wanted to do a few things with the dehydrator. Yeah. So we took it right back and said, well, we're going to have to go to Kohl's or order it on Amazon. Imagine that. Um, and get the one with the dehydrator feature, which I wasn't even aware that there were different models of, at that time of yeah. that. Now there's a bigger one, like an eight or an eight, eight and a half quart. Um, but, you know, maybe we'll check out getting one of the foodies and play with some keto foodie recipes. I don't know. If you guys got a foodie, let us know in the comments below what you think of it. Uh, I know Greg and Stace over at KZ Keto have one. Yeah. They've used it a few of the recipes even. So I got Stacy a little countertop uh, Cuisinart double burner because the way our kitchen is set up, our stove kind of faces a wall, right. and if we want to do any kind of videos where we're cooking anything, we, we have a little kitchen island that she uses in our videos, and uh, this works out perfect for you to it be did. able to cook yeah. on the on the countertop with, so I hope you really enjoy that. So. Yeah. I think you got to see my back. No. Oh, one of our dashes died. Our little red dash, when you plugged it in, you get the light, and it would warm up, and then you'd cook in it. So you try um, to cook in it. Yeah. So I plug it in. And I'm like, what's going on? Is the outlet bad? No. Check the outlet. Tried another outlet. It wouldn't light up and it wouldn't heat up. Uh, I got to give Dash a lot of credit. Mm -hmm. Wrote to them. Said, hey, guys, got a Dash that's dead. It was outside of the warranty return on Amazon. Yeah. But it still had the one year warranty of Dash itself. And they sent me a brand new one. So I just got that in the mail. I'm excited to have another Dash going again. Yeah. So that was really nice, but I thought I'd fill that out there for anybody that has one that dies, write them because they took care of us. Yeah. No problem. So our youngest daughter, Julia, has really taken a liking to the cheese bowls that I've been doing. Oh, she ate all my crackers, my chili oh, crackers. that's right. <laughs> yeah, they were in a container in the refrigerator and I was going to re-zest them on the pizza pizzazz. If you guys haven't got a pizza pizzazz, oh my gosh, they're she wonderful. Get one. Uh, we use them for chicken nuggets and pizza and reheating pizza rolls and yeah. things like that. But I was going to put them on low piece of foil or parchment and reheat the crackers and then use them with the chili and they were gone. She's like, these are really good. Yeah, she enjoyed them apparently because she ate the whole thing. Anyway, hey. sorry to interrupt you. You no. said uh, Julia likes what? The uh, 
the, the cheese bowls that we've been doing our tacos oh. in. <laughs> yeah, she asked for tacos the other day. But she said, can we just please have those keto keto things that you and mom eat? Instead of just like a mission shell or something. So Yeah. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's funny. She makes it and then she picks it up like a little, you know, little bowl and eats it. She really likes the cheese ones. What are you using? Like a Mexican cheese? For the tacos, that? I do the Mexican Mexican blend cheese from Costco. Do you do an egg in it too? And then yes. just Okay. So it's yeah. regularly a truffle. It's just with a Mexican cheese. Exactly. Exactly. And then the bowls. Um, so Julia's <laughs> loving those. She saw me eating. She's like, Mom, could I please have that? And I was like, you could probably sure. you could probably even have some fun with the, the truffle mix, the egg and the cheese, yeah. and add in just a, a hair of um, your taco seasoning that you make or something, and then mix it up and then cook it with that and give it a little more flavor. Even I know I like the cheese flavor. It. Oh, I like it too. They're <laughs> really good. But yeah, when we now we use our double mold bowl maker when we're doing the tacos, so we can get two at a time. So that works out really well. Very well. Yeah, I like that little star blue, I think it is. Star blue, yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's a lot of fun. Very cool. Very cool. Well, guys, thanks for checking in with us. And um, gosh, we're only a few weeks away from a one-year mark. And I think at the one-year mark, I'm going to use some of the video and the footage and the pictures that we have from a year ago uh, when we were both a good 50 pounds heavier. Um on me, I, I do even see it a little bit in the videos and the uh, in pictures. Certainly see it in my closet. Oh my gosh, every shirt that I own is different now. Yes. You know, you go through your closets and nothing fits you. Nothing fits anymore. Even underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but the only thing that fits is socks, you know? Right. Socks don't fit. <laughs> but um, yeah, and stacy has gone through the same transformation of all her clothes have changed. Her bras, her underwear, her pants, her shirts. Not my socks. Yep. It's encouraging though, and that's and that is the reason we did this. Um, yes. You know, I, I wanted to have something to reflect back on, but also because I didn't know where we would be in right. three months, six months, nine months, a year, if we would continue it or not, if it would be sustainable. It's been very sustainable, very easy. Yeah. Very easy. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I haven't even, I can't even say I've got a bunch of cravings or nothing. Been sticking with my keto pretty easy. It just makes grocery shopping a lot easier. I, I eat like a core, maybe 11 things, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah. But I still get all the stuff. My cabinets are full of stuff that's regular for my kids. I got spaghetti and I got yeah. potatoes. I'm not going to force them to do keto. I Of course, I kind of steer them like, hey, do you want to try this? Do you want to try this? And Julia is like game for everything. Yeah. Same with Lauren. Lauren, when she comes home, she yeah. wants to try everything too. So, hey, maybe that's a good direction for them to, you know, at least understand and know where we're coming from and seeing you, yeah, you know. Seeing the like, difference. Holy cow. Me, I'm still a big guy. I'm going to be a big guy for a while. Well, you're, well, you're tall too, though. So, I mean. Yeah, I put my goal at like 240. That's what I was in high school. Um, and uh, I'd like to be back about 240 at six foot six. So, yeah. yeah. And I'm 335. Yeah. So I'm under under 195 yeah. away. <laughs> there you go. So, That's the way to look at it. Yeah. Baby, baby Keep steps. Going. Very baby steps lately. <laughs> Feels well, like. You're going to get it. You got it. <laughs> yeah, He's we'll get this. there. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> but thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, look for some recipes this week. Uh, last two weeks, we've gotten a recipe out each week. I've been very excited about that. And then, of course, I get the benefit from eating it. Um, <laughs> So I'm hoping you maybe can get the cheesy buns going, and uh, maybe if you listen to me a, biscuit, but a little, oh, a biscuit skip. Yeah, sorry. I said and, cheesy buns, but I think it's a, a cheese biscuit type of thing. And maybe if you listen to me, uh, you can put some things into your soup that will make it taste good. Okay. Like the broccoli cheese. You gotta, you gotta like learn to understand that onions are a flavoring, and you just can't use powder and everything. Doesn't doesn't always equate. You gotta have. The substance of things. I'll try. She'll try. <laughs> We're still working on it. I just cut them real small. Should have seen her with the chili. She did not like all the things I was having her put in there. Celery and onion chopped and green pepper Ugh. chopped. and Oh my gosh. But it was so uh, but good. See, here's the thing. I like celery and I like green peppers, but I like them raw. I don't like them cooked. So mm. I didn't have a problem with that. But when I was cooking them into the meat and they were getting smushy.
Thank you guys. We're going to get Stacy off to work here and then uh, I'm going to go edit this video and get to the bike and get to our weekend. I hope everybody stays keto and does a really good job and sticks to your macros. Yes. Yeah. So far, so good for us though. Mm -hmm. Almost a year. It's so hard to believe that it's been almost a year. Yeah, it's crazy. But it's good crazy. And we're sharing it with you. I think, I don't even think we really missed a week, did we? We no. didn't miss a week. We missed like a day. We were like a day late or yeah. or we did it a day early if we knew on Saturday we'd be flying or doing something else. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we've stuck with the commitment of every week checking in, good bad or otherwise. We've had some great weeks. We've had some bad weeks. <laughs> There are weeks I don't even want to make a video. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to suck. <laughs> but, you know. It's true life. And like I said, we are going to share good, bad, or otherwise. Because that wouldn't be fair to just only share the positives. Exactly. Like they do on Facebook, you know. You go on Facebook and you see everybody's little highlights of everything. They don't say when, oh, our water heater blew up. And that's going to be $900. And stuff like that, you know. They just say, look at my kids. They're the greatest. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I'm guilty too. I do the same thing. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> You're such a goose. <laughs>